Welcome everybody back to another Boldcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is our review of episode 121 and reaction to 122 coming up in a minute. We lost the footage, unfortunately. The power went out mid-recording, and unfortunately that means that all the footage for episode 121 is gone. So the reveal of Kabuto, starting on the hunt, that whole thing is gone. However, because of the support on patreon.com slash boldcast, we were able to uh, spend the money to get a battery backup that will now make it so that hopefully if it works properly We'll have some extra time to save the recording if the power ever goes out and uh, we won't lose the footage anymore mm -hmm. So thank you guys for your support on that allowing us to upgrade our gear when we needed Sorry for those who are looking forward to Lindsay's reaction to the reveal because it was a good reaction Yeah, um, really sucked, but but yeah, we just wanted to talk about it real quick and then get into the next episode so yeah, so Kabuto, having a bit of an identity crisis, decides to uh, basically graft a piece of dead Orochimaru's snake body onto himself, and it now has to fight with the dead Orochimaru's body part of him in order to uh, r retain his own control over his body mm -hmm. and uh, keep his sense of self. So Kabuto is really struggling right now, just in general, mentally, I believe. Uh, really not having a good time. Now he's like, Naruto, we can totally relate to each other now. And Naruto's like, hmm, don't know about that, Kabuto. <laughs> you, you literally did that to yourself. Yeah. Um, For me, it was a little bit less... Uh elective to have this sealed inside of me you just and i was literally orochimaru isn't quite the same as the nine-tailed fox but i can see where you're going with that <laughs> yeah not quite the same though yeah so and then kabuto also just changed up his backstory and i'm not sure if that's a writing issue or if kabuto is literally just having a midlife crisis out here midlife and, crisis. <laughs> I, I mean who knows i mean ninjas probably don't usually live very long so it probably is a midlife crisis for him He's like what twenty five, maybe. That's way over like twenty. He's, he's, he's like, like twenty. No, he's like eighteen years old. Okay, he's whatever. only like three years older than Naruto, I think. I think I thought he was like twenty and like he was three a teenager or four years before. older. No, no, hmm. nope, not quite. Okay, anyway, either way, Kabuto having a quarter life crisis out here, um, rewriting his backstory. Whether the author, last time, we, I mean, in our original discussion for this, we talked about whether the, like, whether what we had been told was straight up just a lie made up in the first place because it was part of the plan. Like, Itachi, er, not Itachi, Kabuto had been working for Orochimaru secretly, but he had, before that, he had, we know that he had been working for Sorcery, and then before that, all we knew about him was that he was, like, the son of the well-respected doctor in the village. And that's where he learned all his medical stuff. But now Kabuto's like, I never had an identity. I was passed around from place to place and I, I never knew who I was. Maybe he stole the identity of the Leaf Village doctor. Maybe the Leaf Village doctor was actually also a spy and was just was like, yes, this is my son. Or... Maybe he was the son of the Leaf Village Doctor, but then went evil, and then now he's just forgetting that he, like, had a family at one point. Maybe we'll never know. <laughs> we might literally never know. Or or they might tell us at some point. But it's interesting either way. Also, Karin and Sakura walked past each other. Oh, yeah. They were they so didn't close. see each other. And Sasuke and Deidara is about to happen soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Deidara... I love that he, I lo my favorite, new favorite character, Toby, pissing Dater off constantly. <laughs> it's the best punishment an asshole like him could get. Mm -hmm. I hope he gets his ass absolutely handed to him by Sasuke. <laughs> and then Toby just doesn't help. I hope he's like, Toby, stay out of this. And then <laughs> just gets, just gets fucking beat. And then Toby just runs away or some shit and leaves <laughs> him to die. That's what I hope. That's what I am expecting out That's of this plan? battle. That's my plan. Well, we're just going to get into this, but there's another announcement that I really don't want to have to make, but is necessary. Um, unfortunately, Lindsay was spoiled on a certain death of a extremely important character that happens in the story. She was spoiled for Jiraiya's death. I usually... 
am really good about keeping spoilers out of the discussion about out of anything like big spoilers like that. I would never spoil something like that. What happened was we were laying in bed watching some videos as we often do. I was not watching the videos that he was watching. I was just laying there I just, as well. I just clicked open a video. It was a video by Pros D. I think it was titled something like explaining Naruto to my uh, wife who has never seen it before or something like that. And uh, it's very unfortunate that he just says that he, he just, it wasn't like a, I thought that he, so I, he gave no spoiler warning. He just, it was, and it was a fir, in the first like 10, 15, 20 seconds of the video. They're talking about it. And then he's just like, uh, yeah, just so everyone knows, I stopped watching Naruto when Jiraiya died. And then that was it. So. Yeah. That's it. I can't do anything about that. Like there's no, there's no way I can be like, oh, he was, I was, he was talking about a different Jiraiya in a different show or it's, you know, you never like, there's no way to like get around that. I, tr I usually like, I don't know, like there's a way where you can keep it in the gray area. If like something slips out or if like you don't, you see, you see or hear something you're not supposed to hear. And I feel you guys have no idea how terribly I feel about this. That was, that was like, it was a horrible feeling to like be completely responsible for that. And, um, and to be, and after I told Lindsay, like, okay, we're going into shipping. This is when we started shipping. And I was like, okay, we're going into shipping. In. Just so you know, do not look at anything. Not even if it's part one Naruto. Don't look at anything Naruto. If you think you're in an area where something uh, shonen related might come up, leave the discussion because people just spoil Naruto. They just say spoilers about Naruto because people like assume that most people have seen it or don't care because it's so long. Um, so r regardless, I'm really sorry that that happened, that that was spoiled. I'm really sorry to you. I'm really sorry to you guys. I'm not going to make that mistake ever again. I think, I think I'm just, but the, the thing to take away now is we've already kind of picked up the pace with our watching of Naruto. And this isn't this, it, this video itself isn't going to come out for like a few weeks, but, um, we're going to, after that horrible situation, we're going to speed up our watching process, not our posting process, but our watching process to sort of, at least if it's, if we're done watching faster, then we will be, you know, safe, safer. Yeah. The, the, the less time it takes to watch it, the less time, it, uh, less opportunities there will be to, for Lindsay to get spoiled on stuff. So I'm really sorry about that. It's a really fucking horrible thing and it was completely avoidable and it was like, but it was so like. I got, Unexpected. I'm telling you guys, check out the video. He's straight up and like totally my fault. I shouldn't have been looking at the, vi at a video like that with, with her in the room. I shouldn't, there's no point in even looking at stuff like that. It was, it was just a random video, but he says it like with such speed, efficiency and enunciation. It was like, I, it well, happened I literally, so quickly. It was so bad. Cause I literally wasn't even listening. I was reading something on my own phone, but the, it was said so clearly that even though I literally wasn't paying attention, I still just like, all like I was not even listening. All I heard was Jiraiya dies, like, <laughs> s like, like very, and Sharply, I was, yeah. and I was just like, what the fuck are you watching? Yeah, and it was just a totally yeah. Anyway, so that's it. Not gonna waste any more time on that. Very sorry, but we're gonna get into this reaction of Naruto shipping in episode 122. So we'll see you guys. Never mind. I, we won't see you guys. I'm <laughs> fucked up about this. We're gonna get started. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Hope you leave a like and subscribe. Support the official release. Do what you gotta do. Get a week ahead on Patreon. And uh, now we're getting into this reaction. I also love that they s still haven't explained why the fuck Datoro would want to kill Orochimaru. Think about who Datoro was partners with for like years. Oh. <laughs> for I example. I get, I get, I get. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I, I was waiting for you to figure that out because I kind of like, oh, that's actually interesting. I never thought of that on my first watch. I guess I just never thought of them being that close. Even though they work together. They were kind of buddy-buddy. Yeah. They're like in a horrible villain type of- Oh, animation. Tell me where Itachi Uchiha is. Tell me, and I'll let you go. <laughs> Shh. 
shotting gun, huh? Well, you're Itachi's kid brother, all right. You were only able to kill Orochimaru thanks to your Uchiha blood. <laughs> you were lucky to be born into that family. And nothing more! Got Toby. Bye, Toby. <laughs> you're going to tell me about Itachi. <laughs> what are you doing, Toby? Don't let your guard down just because he's a kid. <laughs> it's teleportation jutsu makes it too fast for both of us. That guy. <laughs> let me size him up with some chakra level C1 explosive. C1. Mm -hmm. I have a pen, please, just in case. Toby, stay back! <laughs> Toby, stay back. Toby just gets nailed. <laughs> Fucking lightning needle, Sasuke. <laughs> <laughs> Toby so far? I do. He's pretty funny. <laughs> He's like the Naruto out of the Akatsuki. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. He can produce explosives from his palms. I somehow managed to escape hidden in the bomb blast. And certainly fast on his feet. How about this? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't like that. All these things are so fucking weird. It looks like they look like some shit out of Princess Mononoke. Yeah, I was okay. just gonna say that. <laughs> it's like they're so unstable. Uh, I'd have just ran around them. They can just mold back together. It's disgusting. Or just make a whole nother one. Oh, it's so, like how the squash and stretch, they take that like animations oh. technique to like a completely new level. How come everyone is turning into sorcery now? Everyone has like puppets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true actually. This is like a, like a hydra. A hydra? Oh yeah. Like the more he cuts bits of it off, the more things he has to fight. Animation's really good. through a tree with a sword. He's not just using the sword though. Yeah. But it's just really, it's just a cool effect. You can just get a nice clean slice. And thus the Uchiha line was broken. <laughs> oh, that must have been his substitution. It couldn't have just been from the trees. <laughs> I was just gonna say, whose side are you on? Well, he's clearly very skilled, which means C2 is my best bet. Maybe you should just go straight to your highest level. It's kind of cool. It's like a pig dragon. That and that is the plan. <laughs> Can that giant thing become an explosive as well? <laughs> I'm counting on Toby. Yes, sir. Toby's yeah, not gonna. <laughs> we haven't seen Toby do literally anything. Not good. Here he comes. Now let's really show him what 
showing the power of your pop art partner. Pop is dead. My <laughs> art is. Ew, small one. Where did all those little ones go? Where's Under the, the ground. First things first, then. He was looking for Toby. Oh. Range is only five meters, huh? <laughs> Figured out my limit. You copied that off Kakashi! <laughs> <laughs> Does he, did Kakashi use the Chidori on him? I don't know. I don't think he did. Because they were at a super distance the yeah. whole time. I don't think Kakashi used the Chidori. I mean, it's maybe it's known he, because Kakashi's so famous. It, yeah. yeah. It's fucking wing. Shields can't fly anymore. Not with one wing. You're so awesome, David. <laughs> now to sell this at last. <laughs> like that could get me. Go ahead and leave. There's no place to land except on a landmine. Sword is. Smart. Big brain Lindsay. <laughs> what about your wing? <laughs> Just guided him into position. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> His arms again. <laughs> He's fucked. Oh, if he falls on a mine. How insane of a fucking attack was that? That was awesome. He set like three traps. I love how he just gets his arms get, like he just got his arms. stupid arms back by magic. And now he <laughs> now he gets them. The way that the snakes like like, like they watching they're watching him. <laughs> Me? <laughs> so mad. Ow, fuck. Daedra seriously has nine lives out here. <sighs> he should have been dead so many times at this point. Don't 
no one don't care, and I get lost. You're keeping me from my art appreciation time. <laughs> <laughs> sure, he's full of energy, but he seems like the early death type. <laughs> it's our leader's orders. His talent will be very useful. <laughs> you know about my talent? We know you're aiding anti-government factions with terrorist bombings. So what exactly is your purpose? Purpose? I don't need a purpose. I take commissions to make explosions using my art. <laughs> yeah, such refined lines and a form that pursues two-dimensional death for me. This is true art, but my art goes far beyond this as well. While they hold shape, they're merely objects, but they can also explode. And when it does explode, it makes its existence more sublime, and it finally comes fully into its own. I feel that true art lives only in that flash of sublimation. True art is an explosion. Disgusting. <laughs> is he finished? <laughs> Who knows? Who cares? I'll handle this. What's up with his eyes? You want to fight? If I win, you'll become a member of the Akoski. That's fine. Just don't mock my art. Now! Talk big, but it looks like that's all you've got. You're done. <laughs> Am I? You should take a good look at yourself. <laughs> what? How? That was close. <laughs> <laughs> I told you he was the type who was gonna die an early death. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it says you, but he already <laughs> lived for a very long time. is beautiful. <laughs> I became intimidated by someone else's abilities. That art. Never. I refuse to acknowledge it as that. You just lost this fight. Don't you mess with me. I'm better than you are. My talent is absolute. My art can't be beat. I know I'm better than you. I will not lose to you. Huh? He's eating the detonating clay, but that means... I saved the best for last. This'll kill you. Toby, run now! Huh? Oh, it's the team of Garuda! Hurry feet. <laughs> this jutsu is sad, especially to kill Itachi, but oh well. Why is this? Damn. He should have made it look like Itachi, that would have really thrown Sasuke off. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. Sasuke would have been like, just Sasuke would have just like, he wouldn't have been able to move. He would have been so freaked out. Yeah. What did you think of that incredibly animated episode? That was a really good episode. I really I, that that was a fight that I thoroughly enjoyed because, and I felt like I could really enjoy it because pretty sure Sasuke is not gonna die, and if Deidara died, I would probably be happy about it. <laughs> So, some fair um, and even, I mean, I guess even if Sasuke died, 
which it wouldn't make sense writing wise at all. I also wouldn't be incredibly furious about it. I would be a little I would be disappointed, but mostly because that would be bad writing. Yeah. Um so basically this is the any anything that can happen in this fight is kind of a good thing. Yeah. Um Dater is not gonna kill anyone that I care about and I and I so I don't have to be that mad at him. Cause if he hurts Sasuke I am kinda like, well, <laughs> that's fine and then Toby is just I fucking love Toby I love how he's like so concerned like yeah you go Daedra and then he thinks Daedra dies and he's like oh no <laughs> like you're oh. such a good partner so I, I feel like that reminds me of someone from something else but I don't I can't quite remember what just, I know like, what you mean the side character that's like the 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 evil villain's uh, accomplice who pretends to pre- pretends to be really <laughs> sad but is actually just doesn't care it is just fine it was just like oh no oh this is such an absolute tragedy well looks like i'll be going now kind of thing <laughs> but not like so sarcastic that it's like oh no too bad i secretly really wanted that to happen it's just like I don't really care. Mm-hmm. Like, it sucks, but whatever. I'll be moving on now. And it happens twice, and each time Toby's like, No! <laughs> it's pretty funny. I like it. I didn't think I was gonna like Toby, but I do like him. He's pretty funny. And he has such a he has such an annoying voice. That yeah. It's just makes but it, it but it's the perfect kind <laughs> of voice that it's annoying without being super screechy yeah. or whiny. So it's that really funny. So funny. It's really funny. <sighs> yeah, and Sasuke that move with that Sasuke pulled was so cool. That was a really, really good move. Such a badass. Throws like, the sword, make sure that if it doesn't nothing happens, then there's no bomb there. And then you can just jump onto it after. That was really cool. Really mm-hmm. smart, exactly what you would expect. It's re- it's just really nice to see that Sasuke still has a lot of the like planning ahead, and now like with the, with the Sharingan as well, mm-hmm. can just th- like have an effective plan to keep him one step ahead, and it just being fast. Because like Naruto doesn't really do that. Naruto just kind of runs in there mm-hmm. and does tries to overwhelm them. With shadow clones or nine tails abilities, uh, so it's re- it's just really cool to get to see well thought out like three or four step moves that just come together perfectly. I, I, that was really cool as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then Dater, I made a giant version of himself out of which is C four clay. Yeah. Also, we saw Dater's backstory of we did. Itachi uh, destroying him when they first him into met. The Akatsuki, mm-hmm. yeah. It's interesting that the Akatsuki sort of sought him out and kind of just like roped him into it. Yeah. Which makes sense because he doesn't seem to have, like, a lot of the other members seem to have their own kind of, oh, I'm a part of this so that I can get this. But Daedra is just like, yes, I just want to make art. And by art, I mean exploding shit. Mm -hmm. Kind of sucks for... I feel kind of bad for him, but also not because he doesn't really have a (laughs) problem. Because he's still still on their side. Yeah. Also, I can't believe I literally forgot that him and Saucery were on the same team and that would be why (laughs) Orochimaru would... I was waiting for you to pick up on that. I don't know. I guess I, I just didn't. I just didn't. And I guess it's... I don't know. Like, I guess obviously they were kind of friends, but I didn't think he would take it that personally. To apparently that, he did. But apparently he did. So, I, yeah, I guess I guess he did. Anything yeah, else you want to say about I the mean, episode? I guess that's it. I just kind of want to get to the next one. Alrighty, moving along. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye.